from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jameson Euler. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast. In just a moment, but first, here are your top stories at this hour. A sinkhole we told you about last fall has reopened. Action Air 1 flew over that hole that's right outside the Varsity Club Sports Bar this afternoon. This is along Springhaven Boulevard in Newport Ritchie. County officials say a repair company filled the hole last week, but on Monday it began collapsing, and officials confirmed it's grown another four feet, stabilizing back in October. The Varsity Club tells us they plan to stay open. The Florida Department of Health confirmed the highest number of COVID-19 deaths in a single day since mid-August. Another 217 people in Florida passed away. The state also said 13,700 people tested positive for the coronavirus in the last day. Also, more than 400 people were hospitalized due to the virus in just the last day. Florida has reported more than 400 hospitalizations for the last three days. Polk and Pasco counties are urging people 65 and up to go online to their vaccine registration portals and set up accounts in advance. They say this will make things move faster for you when appointments become available again. Right now, no Bay Area counties are taking new appointments. But if you go to abcactionnews.com, you'll find a list of counties that are registering people for their wait lists. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. How you doing, everybody? Sky started out partly sunny on Thursday. Pretty nice day. Temperatures close to where they should be, upper 60s to low 70s. Overnight, skies will be partly cloudy again, but on Friday afternoon, we track some rain. Not a huge deal. Most of us won't see anything more than a couple of sprinkles. I look for no severe weather. Heck, I don't even look for a thunderstorm out of this. But it is a cold front, and the air behind it will be cooling down quite a bit over the weekend. Temperatures can wake up time on Friday, 40s and 50s across most of the area. Inland, east of I-75, mid to upper 40s, maybe closer to 50, even middle 50s along the coast in Pinellas County. So our forecast for the evening, partly cloudy, waking up to 40s and 50s, warming up into the upper 60s before the showers pop up, even some low 70s in our central and southern counties, but Saturday and Sunday, much cooler weather extending right on into MLK Day. And then by the middle of next week, for folks looking for warmer weather, we've got you covered. How's 80 degrees sound? It's in the forecast.